Welcome back, adventurers. It's your friendly neighborhood wayfinder, Alvin Angers, and I'm here to show you how to unlock the latest blood boar hunt that came with the mid-season update, as well as some tips and tricks to defeating the new boss, Vamanos. The blood boar is a rampaging mechanical monstrosity designed by the infamous machinist, the rook left unchecked, the machine threatens all of Highlands, and it's up to you, Wayfinders, to stop them. But before you can challenge the Blood Boar, you must first complete these three quests. You will have the Crestal and the Rook, Birds of the Feather, and the Caged Bird Sings. Up first, the Crestal and the Rook. Upon logging in, you will not get a notification for this quest, but if you go to the Tavern in Skylight and speak to the Tavern Keeper Ren, you'll gain access to this quest line. Step 1 will have you travel to Crestal's secret hideout in the lower Skylight. If you forgot where this is, simply open up the Highlands map and fast travel to the travel point called Great Lift. Go down the flight of stairs and make a left. You'll see a fire right outside Crestal's hideout. After speaking to Crystal, she will have you defeat Shrikes in the Pit or Bloodworks. These expeditions can be found under the Mines tab. You can choose whichever expedition you like best. While this quest line doesn't tell you how many Shrikes you need to defeat, I only had to run the Bloodworks expedition twice to have this step completed. After completing this step, you'll have to travel back to Crystal's hideout to speak to her and the quest will be completed. Next up, the Bird and the Feather. Once again, you'll need to return to the tavern to gain access to this new quest. After speaking to Crestal, you'll once again meet her at the hideout. Crestal will once again have you return to the mines, except this time you must run the Bloodwork expedition with a solar imbuement. Additionally, you must complete the What Lies Beneath event. If you're unfamiliar with this event, it's the event where you gather archaic bones from. Or better yet, you might recognize it as the half-buried drill machine you find in the mines. You simply feed it an imbuement and it drills on the ground, only later to be found in open areas surrounded by enemies. Keep in mind that sometimes you'll need a backtrack to find this, so make sure you're collecting all the checkpoints to make backtracking easier. The next step will once again have you go back to the mines, except you'll need to do a pit expedition that must have the excavation unit event. This event is pretty much a giant drill in the middle of the room that'll pave the way forward for you. After each room, it'll need you to fuel it more. Simply eliminate the enemies, search for the fuel, and then resupply. Eventually, you'll come across a room that has an opening to the left. Simply drop down and make your way for the area with a waterfall. If you get in between two rocks, you'll see that there's a secret doorway that will emerge. Pick up the backpack and bring it to Crestle to complete this quest. And now the Cage Bird Sings quest. You'll again have to speak to Crestle, but this time go straight to the hideout. If you don't see the quest notification, simply exit the hideout and then come back in. You'll then need to craft a Blood Boar Gloom Trace. It doesn't require many mats, just one glimmering Verdant Spectra, 775 gold, and 5 Blood Warp Spectra. Now you're ready to take on Blood Boar. Blood Boar's basic attack is when he drills his beak to the ground and starts crawling towards you. Luckily, in this stage of the attack, he's easy to get away from and easier to hit. It's his follow-up attacks that you should watch. At the end of his basic attack, he launches poison pods that make it harder to close the gap on him when trying to attack him. Additionally, he'll do a laser beam attack that follows you, and if it hits any of the poison pods, they'll activate too. You can choose to avoid both the beam and the explosions, or instead you can choose when the pods go off by shooting them before you reach them. Another move that you should be cautious for is a slam attack. You'll notice it's coming when he launches in the air. You'll see a circle underneath him with a smaller one filling up. Once full, Blood Boar will slam down. At range, this is easy to get away from, but you melee weapon wielders will need to watch out. Lastly, you'll have to watch out for the Blood Boar Spider-Man move. You'll notice this move as he hangs on the wall and starts launching poison pods and practically covers most of the field. At this point of the battle, he is immune and you must avoid the lasers and the blast of the pods till he jumps off the wall again. Rinse and repeat. 
If all fails, there is a boss cheese. When he mounts the wall, you can go to the far left and hide in between the rock and a piece of gate to avoid the lasers. While in this position, you should be able to safely dispose of the poison pods. Notable items you can get from Blood Boar is the Juggernaut Essence, which is one of the crafting components needed to craft Juggernaut. Corrupt MLU, which is a material, again, needed in the process of crafting the new weapon. And lastly, the Blood Boar Echo, which releases a beam of energy between you and your target, dealing magical damage equal to 300% of your ability power over 2 seconds to all enemies in between. It has a 60 second cooldown and is triggered by hitting an enemy with the last shot in your clip. I believe this Rush Echo can only be used by guns, but someone in the comments let me know. And now continue on to the last steps of the quest. You'll need to travel to the Highlands and head to the Bell Tree. If you don't recall where this is, travel to the uh, travel point called Codex Hall. Simply zip line or bunny hop over to the waterfall. You'll find a buried cache and bring it to Cresto, completing the quest and the quest line, the final score. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. If this video helped, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or a comment if you have any questions. Also, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with the latest Wayfinder content. As always, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.